in this room, I want to ask everybody in this room, think about somebody in your family history that you've seen that picture on the wall, you've heard them talked about. There's reverence towards that family member because of their service to the country. I bet everybody in here has somebody in their mind right now. Right now you do. Well, I have those people too. This is a song I wrote about the old man. It's my greatest regret as a songwriter that I did not write this song while the old man was still alive and I could have sung it to him. I wrote it one month after he died. World War II veteran joined at 17 years old. Was too young to go in, but all he wanted to do was kill every last person that was attacking our country. That's all he wanted to do. Just kill them all. He was five foot three, 115 pounds, and he was the kind of guy that if you said, hey, Bill, shoot that squirrel, he'd say, left eye or right eye? A dead shot, a vicious patriot. By the time World War II was over, the man had collected multiple Purple Hearts, was hooked on morphine for two years when he got back home, weaned himself off of that, became a farmer, died at 80 years old. I wrote this song about him. This is called The Man. This song's called The Man. I'll dedicate it to all of our veterans in the room, all of our active duty, the boys and girls overseas in harm's way at this very second, and the 13 that never came back from Afghanistan will never forget any of them. Here's how it goes. Well, he was one of the millions who signed up to defend us long ago in 1941. When they sucker punched us in Pearl Harbor, he fought under MacArthur 17 with an army Thompson gun. Well, he stormed a lot of beaches, slept in jungles with the leeches. He saw things a young man should never see. And when they shot him in the shoulder, he got back up. He marched forward, left a lot of brothers dead in Kowajulain. And if it wasn't for the good Lord and the man, there wouldn't be a breath of freedom in this land. And I see people on my TV taking shots at Uncle Sam. I hope they always remember why they can. Cause we'd all be speaking German or living under the flag of Japan If it wasn't for the good Lord and the man If it wasn't for the good Lord and the man Can I get a hell yeah now? I'm the grandson of a soldier And I'd fight the whole world over If duty called Freedom's on the line. But thanks to the greatest generation and the ones still fighting for our nation, I've never had to kill for my way of life. And if it wasn't for the good Lord and the man, there wouldn't be a breath of freedom in this land. And I see people on my TV taking shots. And Uncle Sam, I hope they always remember why they can. Because we'd all be speaking German or living under the flag of Japan. If it wasn't for the good Lord and the man. If it wasn't for the good Lord and the man.
He fought under MacArthur 17 with an army Thompson gun. God bless y'all. Thank you. From the past.